So this is the brand new 2020 Chevrolet Bolt. And uh, as an automotive engineer, I'm going to have a, a different impression of this car than uh, perhaps the standard, your traditional car reviewers, because I appreciate the technology behind this car. And I also appreciate the fact that um, Chevrolet is able to design and develop uh, electric car that for the first time that I actually truly enjoy driving that isn't always the case with electric car because sometimes it's a uh, it's a uh, it can be a little bit uh, bland and while the design of this boat perhaps isn't all that exciting I've immensely enjoyed driving this car but first and foremost as I always do in my engineers car review I used to design and build cars for a living so let me tell you first of all the overall fit and finish and the build quality of this Chevrolet boat. So my standard uh, check is to always check the body finish between the panels. Uh, and uh, of course it's got a, it doesn't really need a big hood just because there's no engine inside. Uh, but also check the seams and the gap between all the panels to see if uh, how well it's built. And I can tell you sometime in a domestic brand, I'm a little bit disappointed by the fit and finish, especially the exterior. Uh, but this particular one is really, really well built. Uh, the paint job is actually quite, quite good and a little hard to tell in the somewhat darker weather today. Uh, but the fit and finish here is excellent. You can tell the gap is very consistent. Um, it's level between these two panels same between the front door and the rear door the gap is consistent so this means stamping was done well and uh, what we call the body in white manufacturing when they put these metals together they've done a wonderful job of that um, just a little bit of um, this side is a little bit higher than this side just a tiny bit but nothing out of the ordinary it's certainly better than something you will find in a tesla um, and same thing here, just a little bit of uh, height difference between these two panels, just slightly, ever slightly. But otherwise, you know what? This is this is almost Japanese level of fit and finish. The paint job is good. The overall build, both inside and outside, is excellent. You might argue in terms of design, you know, it's not perhaps a striking design. It's a cute design, and I really like this floating roof design that's so popular nowadays it was first um, launched or pioneered by nissan and ever since everyone has been copying this floating roof design of course the roof is not floating it's just because of the black out trim it makes it uh, look like so now in terms of overall design i think it's a cute car i think they were trying to go after kind of the bmw i3 look and feel um, I don't know. It's, this car came out in 2017. It's, it's a few, few years old. It still looks pretty up to date. Uh, I'm not really sure about the, the rear. The rear looks like an Econo box. It looks like any other hatchback. Uh, but this, notice this intricate tail lamp design, right? Pretty, pretty cool here. That's pretty cool. Again, the floating roof. This looks nice. <clears throat> lots of lots of uh, interesting. Um, emblem here showing the that showing that this is a truly um, electric car and the front design too kind of a, almost a honda looking car so um, i think it's uh, overall it's a pretty good design i wouldn't say that it's outstanding it certainly just kind of blend in um, but uh, pretty good design overall now let's move into the interior of the car uh, this car has uh, quite an interesting design actually first of all i really like this very simple but colorful design graphic design and um, even this panel here is actually you know what it's better than what i've seen from other domestic uh, manufacturers it's very easy to use uh, very quick response i found it to be um, i found it to be uh, quite easy in terms of the features and and so forth and you still have substantial buttons here in terms of the radio on off uh, forward backward uh, even the ventilation and so forth are all still using buttons and we're losing this right in some of the newer models 
they have no buttons or very little buttons and it's very awkward to use so i'm really glad that chevrolet kept much of the design uh, buttons designed into the into the whole integrated console here uh, it's floating here so it's it's kind of there's nothing here um except for the cup holders um the shifter here is it works fine the only thing is that when you put in reverse you have to um go one and two um, but when you go drive you just go one straight down okay so it's pretty straightforward you just press the p to to park and so forth um, not everyone likes design this design by the way the seat design that has a bit of um two-tone fit finish but this star is darker and this is lighter and uh, I kind of like it. It's kind of cool, but some people say it's a bit odd looking. Again, if you look at this material here, you can very much tell that's very somewhat similar to the BMW i3 look. Uh, I'm sure that was the intended purpose. And if you look carefully, it might be hard to tell by the phone here, but even the finish of this, um, pl uh, this plastic piece, the white part, it's pretty cool. It's got a kind of... Um, almost like a carbon fiber look um, but not quite in white and then right beside it which which is a bit strange but this is um this is uh oh, i turn on the uh maximum exhaust by mistake here so let me turn off the car for a second so anyway this is a shiny white plastic this is a matte uh, plastic with this pattern on it so a bit strange to mix the two together uh, but overall the design is pretty cool i think it's uh it's um not something that you see in normal car just overall look and feel it's very futuristic very simple and to be honest i i find it quite uh, pleasantly uh, refreshing so let's take it for a quick spin i apologize that it's a bit dark now uh, but um uh, let's take it for a quick spin now as you can tell it is extremely quiet of course electric car there's no engine sound um, but what's most impressive about this car compared to many many other electric cars i've driven is the general comfort and refinement so you know how we often talk about how maybe a lexus or and um you know some other some of the other japanese car have this very very smooth refined feel and often that's lacking sometime in the more of a domestic uh, models for example particularly if you look at tesla uh, it is not always refined it is not always smooth uh, and uh, there's many other sort of a, a design flaw with that car but this car you you think that a lexus engineer design and built and i don't mean that in any disrespect to general motors uh, i mean that in in the best intention here because because the level of refinement the quietness and smoothness of the overall powertrain the steering and ride is first class for a small electric car like this uh, i cannot believe that they were able to combine uh, the feel of a larger car so for example, uh, let me start from the beginning here first. In terms of steering feel, most electric car, obviously they all use electric power steering. And as, as a result, they just don't have any feeling at all. Um, many of the cars I've driven in electric cars or even the hybrids like a RAV4 hybrids, just, it just feels numb and there's absolutely no joy in driving. But more importantly, you don't even feel like you're connecting to the road. But this boat, Chevy boat, has actually a pretty good sense of feel uh, the steering is a little bit heavier than other ev cars um, definitely a little bit heavier and more road feel than the um than the um tesla model 3 and when you turn like this there's a bit of weight to the steering and what i mean by that is that there's a bit of a uh, heavier feel and it gets progressively heavier as you move the steering and that feeling is very difficult to calibrate and engineer into a car with electric power steering but they managed to do that with this car it has a really good solid feel it's not super sporty it's certainly not a sports car but the overall steering feel is uh, hefty heftier and has a more road feel than i would say 90 percent of the electric cars 
and clearly better than some of the other just conventional smaller uh, gasoline engine cars as well. And the other thing is that the ride is, I was surprised, is this has a Michelin tires on this car. Um, but many of the electric cars, in order to maximize fuel economy, has a sort of a harder compound tires to maximize rolling resistance. And sometimes they can be bumpy uh, or and a little bit noisy even. But this car is absolutely quiet, i.e. there is no really um, tire noise. And most of all, the, t the, the ride is extremely comfortable. Now, the Europeans tend to be very good with this type of suspension, and they tend to design a car that handles well, but the ride also... Um, that's also very quite smooth and refined. Um, but no, you don't often see that in um, North American product. Even some, even some Japanese have, have really bad ride. Japanese cars, I, should, I meant. But this one is a really softer but very controlled ride that makes you think that you're driving a car that's much bigger than this. And it really has that European feel to it. The ride is excellent. Handling is very good for electric car. And it's very quiet and very smooth. I've driven this, in, this car in all kinds of roads, including highways. And I'm just surprised this small little tiny electric car, I shouldn't say tiny, it's not that small, but this small compact electric car has a feel of a, a mid-size uh, sedan. And the refinement and level of refinement reaches some of the luxury cars, which is unheard of. Now, being an electric car is not cheap, obviously, um, but uh, the amount of money you save from gasoline will more than probably pay you back if you keep the car long enough. Um, now, I've been using this car for about a week, and I still have um, about three-quarter of the range left. This car can get more than 400 kilometers of a range. And more importantly, the range indicated in the dash is actually quite accurate. And I found myself um, not having to worry too much about the range if it's telling me that I got 180 kilometer left. I know for sure I have 180 kilometer left. And this is one of the more accurate uh, um, accurate range that I've noticed uh, of among the electric cars. So good range. Uh, that means less um, uh, anxiety around running out of uh, power. Uh, smooth, um, sometimes electric cars, uh, because of the way it's been designed, uh, either rise a little bit too stiff or it, it feels a little bit awkward when you let the gasoline go um, because it's charging itself. That's the way the technology works. Uh, and Tesla in particular sometimes feels a little bit odd driving, bit, driving it. But this car is extremely smooth. And you know what? I said to myself, if I have to buy a small electric car, this is the one I would buy. Reasonable price, good ride and handling and feel. And the packaging, a little hard to tell now because it's a little bit dark, but packaging of the interior is also excellent. Seats are comfortable. I know some people complain that the seats are too, um, doesn't do not have enough support or do not have enough cushion. But I've been driving this car for a long period of time and I find the seats completely comfortable. Uh, a lot of European cars use less, um, less foam or less padding and they feel just fine and this one kind of follows that pattern. Um, the only thing is obviously it is still a small car and therefore um, the trunk capacity isn't all that big. It's tall but isn't that uh, wide or long so that's something to keep in mind. But um, all in all, I will say this is, was a surprising car and even in comparison to some of the newer EV cars out there, I thought this car is really well designed. Uh, would I, so my standard question is, uh, would I, if I were to buy this car, would I be happy three years from, no, from now on? Would I still keep it? And the answer is absolutely yes. I would probably really enjoy driving this car because uh, like all electric cars, it's got tremendous torque. So when you step on the gas, it really takes off. Zero to 100 is only six and, a, six and a half seconds on this car. So it's as fast as many sports cars. So I think in three years, I would still very much enjoy driving it. Um, and then what would I rank rate it out of uh, like ABC rating? I would give it, uh, in terms of electric car, I would give it solid A-. I think it's, I know that it's perhaps a few years old and not quite as fresh as other electric cars. And the spacing in terms of cargo space is, can be bigger, but overall for a small electric car, I would give it solid A-.
Uh, so great job, uh, Chevrolet, and uh, great job on the car, even though it's a few years old. A uh, whole bunch of things were updated this year, and that's why this car is even more joy enjoyable to drive and to own than before. So that's it for the Chevrolet Bolt. Surprisingly great, good, solid car, uh, um, and perhaps more features will be added in the future. But for now, this is a solid A-minus car.